What's wrong? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, don't mind Freddie back there. He's trying to set Blue's shot collar up that we just got. Um, Bart collar, whatever the hell you call it. But anyways, I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to do a home gym tour um, with the whole COVID-19 situation, pandemic thing going on. Um, mostly everybody's gyms are closed. I know it's a little late now because some gyms are already open. But I love seeing everybody else's gyms and kind of like what they have in their gym because uh, it kind of just gives me ideas as to what we should get in our gym. I do want to keep up with our gym um, in the future just in case like we ever have snow days or if I'm ever running late or I just don't feel like going to the gym, then I can always work out at home. It's been super cool, super nice just to have something to do right in our garage. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and show you guys. So yes, our home gym is in our garage. Um, we have a little bit of everything in here. It's a little dusty, but honestly, I don't care because my car still goes in here. We have enough room for just my car to fit in, but unfortunately, Freddie had his sacrifices. But it's okay because his car is just a beater and he's fully aware that he's super okay with it. But we have a little dry erase board just in case we ever want to work uh, or write out our workouts honestly when i purchased it i thought we would use it a lot more but we really don't use it you'll notice here that this is everybody's prs so far on bench squat and deadlifts and there that used to be a w but <laughs> Anyways, I just have like random stuff laying around my little waist trimmer and then I have a pull-up bar there that we don't really use but sometimes we hang it up on our garage door. A uh, whole bunch of sneakers. Again, only like this side is our gym. Um, so on this bottom part we have a speaker, we have some chalk, we have a yoga mat, our lifting belts, and then some extra clips. But this is our rack and then we hung a mirror right in the middle. Freddie hung our snowboarding boards up there. We have a tripod just in case we ever want to record and then obviously the one I'm holding right now. Um, we have a whole bunch of bands, resistant bands. I purchased this actually like a year ago, if not more. No, you know what? It's probably like a year, year and a half ago because I wanted it to, I wanted them so they could help me with my pull-ups and it came with a whole bunch of other bands which is really nice. This is actually what we were working out with before we actually bought the whole rack. But yeah, this rack is from Mark Fitness. No, we did not purchase it brand new. We purchased it used. Um, and it came with a bench. This bench, which inclines and it also declines because the seat can kind of lift a little bit. Um, it came with that barbell over there uh, and the rack itself. And then of course it came with uh, most of the plates. We had 445s. 235s, 225s, 210s, um, and then we also bought 230 pounds. They're a little rusty, but honestly, look, it'll do. Um, the whole thing used cost us $400. Yes, it sounds like a lot, but when you think about it and you take into consideration all the weights, I think that weight is, was it 305 or 295? I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, but weight goes for like Usually a dollar, pound, dollar uh, and 50 cents, but lately I've been seeing it up to two dollars a pound. That's just, you know, inflammation as Freddie likes to say. But um, as the time went, well, whenever we got the rack, we did purchase these mats at Walmart. Um, they're kind of cheap mats and they get really dusty very easily. So I don't really worry about mopping it because I like I, said, like I said, I still keep my car in here. So it's kind of hard to keep it clean. But I also have my hip thrust pad back there. Um, as the time went, we bought another barbell. Oh, I forgot to mention, our rack also came with this Z bar, Z curl bar, and then another straight bar that you will see right there. I wanna say that bar may be like 30 pounds um, or 25, because it is definitely not a 45 pound, but it's not like your standard woman Olympic bar, so it's kind of weird. Um, as the time went, we also bought two 25s, a 20, and a 15 pound kettlebell or dumbbell because 
one is better than absolutely none. Oh, I also forgot to mention, oh my God, I forgot that this whole like kit we bought came with a whole bunch of other stuff. It also came with two, 2.5 pound um, plates, but we also bought four or five pound plates. So that's 20 pounds right there. I already had this kettlebell and then those five pounders. Like I said, we also got two 30 pounds in the kit. And the bench also came with a preacher curl cushion thing. So basically what this is, you just attach it to this and then you can sit it up and you can just do preacher curls. And then right there it holds your bar. So it's kind of neat. Um, I actually just recently bought Freddie these grips. So you put them on the bar for the dumbbells and it's supposed to help concentrate um, your biceps a little more. And then of course we named the gym Bacchus Beef House 24 Hour Fitness. Fun fact, Freddie followed a YouTube tutorial and drew that. And I followed a YouTube tutorial and drew that. Um, so that was good. And then we also did our gym rolls, um, which we wanted to make sure that they were annoying and obnoxious. Freddie was like, yeah, just Google the Planet Fitness gym rolls and then we'll do the complete opposite. So of course these are a joke, but it was just cute to kind of add our own little spin. And then we went to Walmart and we purchased five of these, um, long mirrors because I did not want to spend a lot of money on a mirror and I think each mirror was maybe five six dollars and then I just have like minimal space in between and it actually looks like really good so this is where we work out um whenever we do deadlifts we have an extra two pads and we'll just put it on there but you can kind of tell how we've kind of dug some holes um we try to be as careful as possible especially because these plates are metals but um, it still ends up working out. I also um, bought this air bike off of, air spin bike, I, I honestly I don't even know the name of it, but I bought it off of, what do you call it? Facebook market, off of somebody. So spin bikes are out of stock everywhere. I wanted a spin bike, but honestly this will do for days that I don't feel like going out and running. And it's not that I don't feel like running, but it's just that it's too freaking cold and the weather is bipolar. But yeah, this is our indoor at home gym. Um, and it does a job. We get really creative. We also like to use a Yeti to do some step ups and whatnot. And then of course, when it's nice weather, we leave the garage open and when it's not, we close it. What's wrong? That's a cute toy. That's a cute toy. That's a cute toy, baby. What are you, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna, ow, that's my bruise. So that's our at-home gym tour. Um, it's nice to just get up, roll out of bed, and work in my gym. <laughs> work out in my gym. I think my favorite part about that is I can blast some music, and then I can work out without a shirt. I am not confident enough to work out in a sports bra at a commercial gym or at an on-base gym, but here at home, I'm just like, hey, who else is gonna see me except maybe my neighbor? So it's kind of cool. Yes, I do miss a gym because we don't have all the additional machines like leg press machines and leg curls and you know the cable machines, but anything is better than nothing, and it's done the job so far so good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.